Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today we've got a product from Teslong. This is the NTS500B digital endoscope camera. You can check it out on Amazon at the time of this review for about $135 to $140. I'll have that link in the description below, and I'll also have a link to Teslong where you can check out all the products that they have to offer. Now, I have reviewed some Teslong endoscopes in the past, and they all have been excellent. I expect that this one will also follow suit. Let's dig into this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the uh, NTS 500B. It comes in a nice hard shell a carrying case which all of the test long endoscope cameras that I've used have done before as well. Uh, if you want to check out test long, you can check them out at www.testlong.com. This is the NTS 500B. I did previously review the NTS 500. Uh, the specs are pretty close. You're going to have a 720p screen in IPS. It's a 5.2 inch uh, IPS screen. It's going to be able to capture uh, up to 1080p in video and a still images. It has a 3500 milliamp battery in it and you do get this hard shell carry case to go with it. So let's get everything out of the box so that you guys can see exactly uh, what you get. You're going to get of course the main unit uh, with the probe. Uh, so you've got that there and you're all set up and ready to go. You do get some accessories as well as a charging cable. And this is a standard, it looks to be USB to USB type C. So you're gonna get a USB type C cable to recharge this unit. And then of course, you're going to get the user manual for this as well. Uh, again, NTS 500B is the model number. Hold on to that if you need to reference it. Let's get the case out of the way here so that we can take a look at all of the stuff that you do get in a little bit more detail. Uh, again, you'll get your charging cable, your main unit, and you can see uh, that we've got a mount here for it. So if you do want to mount this, uh, you can in certain situations. We do get a few attachments for the probe as well, which is actually pretty handy and pretty cool. You do get two of them. There's one is a hook. And uh, so if you need to uh, grab something that you see with the probe, you can. And one is a magnet, which is always awesome to have uh, for an endoscope uh, or type camera where you may be looking for something that's made of metal and you need to grab it. You can do that by using the um, attachment there. So uh, let's take a look at the main unit itself. And uh, you can see that we do have a probe here. This probe is replaceable. The probe itself has six LED lights at the top and then it has one on the side because it is a dual uh, probe here. You can remove this probe. Uh, there is a um, little screw that you have to take out at the bottom here. So if you do have to replace the probe with something shorter or longer that test long may sell, you can do that. Uh, but it is pretty much uh, just a fixed or attached deal here. On the back, uh, you're gonna see that we also have uh, that mounting screw there in case you do need to mount this in a, in a singular position. And we do have a little bit of a light up top to add extra light. Inside this flap here, you're going to have your charging port and you're going to have a, uh, a micro SD card slot. It comes pre-installed with a 32 gigabyte and I, I wanna double check that. Uh, but it is, I believe, a 32 gigabyte card. And of course, you can upgrade that uh, to save more if you need to. But it is a class 10, 32 gigabyte, as we see there. Uh, so that will go right there in the back. Okay, so let's look at some of the settings that we have here. And you can kind of see I'm just doing some pre preliminary work here, looking at the Doctor Strange figure that I have here. And you can see you get a really nice picture. Now on that front camera, you're going to have uh, 30 to 100 millimeter focal lengths. 
and on the side camera you're going to have I believe it is 20 to 50 millimeters and I'll show you the differences there in just a few moments now I do want to be able to show you that you can cycle through some pictures here that you take if you press the OK button it's going to freeze your image so that if you need to take a closer look at a certain spot uh, you can do that as well uh, so you can freeze the stat and make it static. You can also rotate the screen if you need to flip it upside down 180 degrees. And you can do that for the front facing camera and the side facing camera as well. So you can either freeze or uh, flip and rotate the, uh, the setup there in depending on where you're at and what you need to look at. Now let's take a look at some of the settings here. We have uh, 720p or 1080p for resolution. Uh, you can record audio or not if you want to add, you know, say a, a dictation saying you're, you're looking inside an engine or something like that and you, you want to make a dictation, you can do that. Uh, your date stamp on or off. Your uh, auto uh, power off either 5 or 10 minutes. Uh, or off. I'm just going to leave it to off. And you have several languages that you can set here in the settings. Uh, so they give you a lot of different uh, options as far as language goes. Your date and time, obviously, this is self-explanatory. You can set your date and time. Mine is not set at this point. Uh, obviously, this was a little while ago. Uh, but we'll go through that just to kind of show you uh, that you can set your date and time here. You can format the uh, SD card that's built in as well that is included the 32 gigabyte one that I showed you earlier and uh, you can look at your version number down here and it will give you the website and support email for test long as well and those are the settings uh, for the unit itself okay so uh, going out of that again switching the cameras is pretty simple uh, it's got a nice IPS screen, great crisp display, even though uh, it is uh, a little bit misrepresented on my video. But you can see the forward camera gets you that nice uh, clean look there. You can adjust uh, the brightness on the LEDs uh, on the right hand side there and if you need to uh, capture video you can just hit the left button at the top there it will capture video uh, if you hit the mode button once it will switch between uh, video and still captures as well now if I hit the button uh, that is at the top on the probe I can switch to the side camera as well because it does have a side camera there so if we want to switch to that uh, we can just hit the uh, button at the top uh, to switch over to our side camera right here uh, and this will switch over to the side camera also has an LED bit in, built in uh, you're going to get a little bit uh, different on the focal length this is more of a closer focal length uh, 20 millimeters to 50 millimeters I believe uh, don't quote me on that one but that is what you're going to get on the side camera and that makes sense for the side camera having a closer focal length because if you're down in say like a pipe or a drain uh, your camera the side camera is going to be closer to the side wall of what you're looking at so that uh, smaller focal length or shorter focal length is going to make sense for that side camera and you get good images and video from both of course uh, you get three levels of brightness on either the side camera or the front camera uh, so they do a really good job so the NTS 500B is a great addition to Test Long's setup here uh, of endoscope cameras. I haven't had any problems with their cameras in the past. They've always been high quality, and this one uh, really is as well. Uh, again, it, it really does uh, perform very, very well. It's got a 3,500 milliamp battery that's going to get you about five hours of runtime. Takes about three to four hours to totally recharge this. Uh, and it really is a nice sharp unit. It's lightweight, waterproof. Uh, you've got a lot of uh, different things with this uh, that will allow you to um, use uh, this in several different scenarios. You do have a 16.5 foot probe cable uh, that you can change out uh, you would have to order a different one to do so uh, but you can change it out as well uh, so there's really uh, nothing 
that I can really say about this particular camera that I've had a problem with. Uh, it records audio in case you need to uh, throw some dictation in there. You can do still shots, you can do video, uh, and it's got a really nice uh, clear picture to it using that side camera and or uh, using the uh, front facing camera. So there you have it. That's my review of the Teslong uh, NTS 500B digital endoscope camera. Again, you can pick it up on Amazon at the time of this review for about $135.99. I'll have that link in the description below and I'll also have that link to Teslong as well. Uh, you can't go wrong if you're looking for an endoscope camera. Uh, you can't go wrong with Teslong. They've always been great in every time that I've reviewed any one of their products. And if I was looking for an endoscope camera, I would definitely go with the Teslong brand and uh, endoscope cameras. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you guys have any questions or comments about this device, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like, and if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so because that always helps me out. And I'll check you guys out on the next video.